Good day everyone! Let's start our topic with a story problem, more is less. If 10 men can polish a road in 30 days, how long will it take 15 men to finish the same job? Now this problem is an example of inverse or indirect proportion. So when you say inverse or indirect proportion, it is when the increase in one quantity causes the decrease of the other quantity. Or it is when the decrease of one causes the increase of the other. Let's analyze the problem again. So if there are 10 men who can finish the road in 30 days, how long, okay, how long will it take 15 men to finish the same job? The question here is how long. Therefore, we are going to find for the time in days. If more men will be working the same job, then it will take less days, right? So the relationship is that the number of workers is inversely proportional to the time. And of course, the more men working together with the same job, the shorter the time to finish the job. On the other hand, the lesser the men work together, the longer the time to finish the job. So this is an example of indirect proportion. And to solve this problem, it is easier for us to put it in a table so we can identify its relationship of the two quantities. Now, and the, the quantities are time and men. And we have here 10 men. Okay, so we write here 10 men. They were able to finish it for 30 days. How long? So we are looking for the time. And this is our missing, which is we write it as N. And then... Um, for 15 men, again, if the number of men increases, they can finish it in a short period of time. Now, since we are dealing with inverse proportion, we are not going to cross multiply just like the direct proportion. Instead, we multiply it with the same rows. So, in the di in direct proportion, we cross multiply and find for the value of n but right now in indirect proportion we multiply it with the, it's the same rows so what we're gonna do is to multiply n times 15 is equal to 30 times 10 and we have 30 times 10 is 300 and then that is n times 15 you can Divide both sides by 15. So it gives here n and then 300 divided by 15. Let's divide that. 300 divided by 15. That is 2. 30. 0. Okay, so our n is 20. We can also write this in this equation. 10 is to 15 is equal to n is to 30. If you are not going to use the table. But this is different relationship in the direct proportion. The relationship here in indirect is less men is to more men is equal to less days is to more days. Then what we're going to do is still the same. We multiply the means and the extreme and we find for the value of n or the missing. So we have here 15 n. Then 10 times 30 is 300. So you'll still be able to get the same answer, which is n is equal to 20. Okay, so how long will it take? It will take 20 days okay, for 15 men to finish the same job. Let's have more examples. We have 8 workers can build a wall in 9 days. How long would 6 workers take to build the same wall so let's analyze the problem and let's see if the problem is an inverse proportion or a direct proportion so you see that if eight workers uh, will build the wall it will take nine days now if they decrease the number of workers it becomes six workers and to build the same wall how long would it take would it take long days or 
uh, shorter days. So the relationship is that the lesser the number of workers, the longer the time to finish the task. Therefore, this is an example of indirect proportion. So if to solve it, we can make a table for easier identification of the relationship of the two quantities. So we have here eight workers and for the days, we have nine days. And for six workers, how long? That's the question. So we put here N. And again, if you decrease the number of workers to build the same wall, of course, the, the time will be longer. And to find for the, to solve for the indirect proportion, all we need to do is to multiply with the same row. So we have 8 times 9 is equal to 6 times N. And we multiply 8 times 9 is 72, 6 times n is 6 times n, and divide both sides by 6, you will get n here, and 72 divided by 6, that is 12. So our n here is 12. So if you want to write it in an equation form, so we have here less men or less workers is to more workers is equal to less days is to more days and our relationship would be less men we have here six is to eight is equal to less days so we have here nine is to n and n is our missing and we cross multiply that you will still be able to arrive at the same answer so we have six n and same process divide both sides and our value of n is 12. So if the question is how long would it take six workers to build the same wall, it will take 12 days. Okay? Answer is 12 days. Again, the relationship would be less number of people uh, or the workers, longer time to finish the task. And more number of workers, shorter time to finish the task. Another example. At the speed of 60 kilometers per hour, a car takes 20 minutes to travel a certain distance. At what speed must it travel this distance if it, if it is to take only 15 minutes? Now, let's analyze the problem and let's identify if this is an example of indirect proportion. So, at the speed of 60 kilometers per hour, the car takes 20 minutes okay, to travel a certain distance. Now, at what speed, so the question here is the speed, must it, tra must it travel this distance if it is only, if it's to take only 15 minutes? So your speed should be um, faster so that you will be able to travel in a certain distance for only 15 minutes. So our relationship here is that the faster the speed, the shorter time to arrive. And yes, this is an example of indirect proportion. And to solve this problem, it's easier for us to answer with a table. So we have here the time. In minutes, we have here for 20 minutes, the speed is 60 kilometers per hour. Now the question is at what speed? Therefore, our n is here. And for only 15 minutes. Okay, so we, since we are dealing with indirect proportion, we just multiply with the same rows. So we have 20 times 60 is equal to 15 times n. And 20 times 60, that is 1,200, is equal to 15 times n. Divide, divide both sides by 15. And we cancel this out. And we can find for the value of n by dividing this 1,200 divided by 15. So we have here 8. 40, 12, 0, 0. Okay, so our n here is 80. So at what speed must it travel this distance so that it will only take 15 minutes? The answer here is 80 kilometers per hour. And again, our relationship here is slower speed, longer time to arrive. And faster speed, shorter time to arrive. So this is an example of indirect proportion. Next example, a farmer has enough feeds for 30 chickens for 5 days. If he has 50 chickens, how long will the feeds last? Now let's analyze the problem and see if this is an example of indirect 
or direct proportion. If the farmer has 30 chickens, the feeds will last for 5 days. Now, if there are more chicken, which is 50 chickens now, do you think the feeds will last more than 5 days or less than 5 days? Now, our uh, relationship here is that the more consumer, the lesser the time it will last. And this is an example of indirect proportion. Now, let's make a table. And for the two quantities, we have consumer and the days it will last. So for uh, consumer, we have 30 chickens. And it will take 5 days to finish the, the feeds. And if it is 50 chickens, how long? So we're looking for the days. So we multiply... Uh, with the same rows to answer this the indirect proportion problem so we have here 30 times 5 is equal to 50 times n and 30 times 5 is 150 well, 50 times n divide both sides by 50 then cancel out so we have our n is 150 divided by 50 that is 3 so how long will the feeds last it will only last for three days if there are 50 chickens. And our relationship here is less consumer to last longer. And more consumer, it will last shorter. So that's about our topic about inverse or indirect proportion. So inverse or indirect proportion is opposite in uh, direct proportion. Now, the challenge here is to identify if it is direct or indirect in the given problem. So, all you need to do is to analyze and imagine the problem. And from there, if you'll be able to identify if it's direct or indirect, you'd be able to know how to solve the problem.